All right, let's match a maxi nurdle. Let's start with 24 divided by 6 plus 3 times 1 equals 7. Okay, just addition, and we have equals a single-digit number. Interesting. Get a bunch of numbers out of it, which is good. But we got to make this smaller somehow. We're probably going to use some subtraction, I would assume. Uh, maybe get some exponents involved. Yeah, let's just do like 3 squared plus 2 cubed just to get both exponents in. And now I can subtract a double digit number. There's no 1, so maybe this doesn't work that well. If I did 3 cubed, it would get a little bigger because this is only 17. So let's do 3 cubed and 4 squared just to make the numbers a little bigger. Uh, and then I can subtract. So 16 plus 27 is 43. And now I can subtract something in the 30s. 32 equals 1. I could do 30. I could do 27. C can I? No, I can't. That would be a double digit number. Wait. So what did I say this was? 43. 37 equals 6. I would like to get that 7 involved. Let's just do 37 equals 6. 37 equals 6. Whatever. That's fine. Okay, so no squared or cubed. There is a subtraction. Uh, there had to be a subtraction if it's going to equal a, di a single digit number. Parentheses don't make a whole lot of sense if it's just addition and subtraction, but there could be parentheses. Uh, we just wouldn't need them in the equation. Do place the 4. Plus doesn't go here. All right, so yeah, so I can have three, three, I can have three double digit numbers. So I could do. 40 something minus 70 something plus 30 something and that could get me to a single digit number is kind of what I'm thinking right now. So if I did 42 minus 70, there weren't two threes, maybe I'll try two twos. And then this number is going to match so I could just do 42 minus 72, ah, can't be plus 30 something though. Okay, so this the three is actually pretty limited in where I can go at this point. If I make these numbers pretty big, and I can do that because I have a 9 and an 8 still remaining. Then I can do I can do 20 something here. So maybe I do the 3 here. So 49 minus 73 plus 28. I think that'll give us a single digit number. Something like that. So 49 plus 28 is 77. That equals 4. This is fine. Let's try this structure. Okay. I kind of figured that would end up being the structure. This makes a lot of sense. Uh, we get an 8. 3 is just really not wanting to be placed. All right, so the only two places I haven't tried the 3 are second and last. I don't think I don't think 43 is going to be big enough. I, this, this is going to have to be 48, I would think. Because we need these two numbers to add up to more than 70. 48, I haven't used a 0 yet. So I think this is probably going to equal 3 is my hypothesis. 7 and 8 don't go here. Oh, three could go here too. Wow, okay. I haven't tried three in a lot of places. Um, I guess I might as well get a zero involved. So what what numbers? So three and eight are the only ones that I haven't placed yet, and I already put them in. So if I do minus 70, that gives me some leeway. Uh, so what would this number have to be? Yeah, yeah, 25 would work. So the two numbers that I haven't tried yet, I think, I think this works. 48 plus 25 is 73, yeah. There it is, dude. There's a maxi nurdle. Pretty, uh, pretty solid performance there. I think. Pretty uh, surgical effort. Uh, just, just crush the maxi nurdle. You know, you already know what it is. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.